All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Throughout the Pleistocene epoch, ice caps advanced and retreated around the globe, forcing vertebrates to move and adapt. Many species succumbed to extinction after the end of the last ice age about 10,000 years ago. Since then, modern humans have had a dramatic impact on the world's fauna. Mammals abounded beyond the edges of the ice caps during the Pleistocene. Large animals were better able to conserve body heat and survive extreme cold than small animals. In addition, several northern species, such as woolly mammoths and woolly rhinos, sported thick fur coats that kept them warm. The ranges of many animals expanded and contracted according to the changing climate and vegetation. For example, reindeer moved southward from the Arctic to southern Europe during glacial periods and, contrastingly, hippos moved northward from Africa to central Europe during interglacials. Giant mammals were ubiquitous during the Pleistocene. Elephant-like mastodons and car-sized armadillo-like glyptodonts lumbered around North America, while giant ground sloths, which were up to 20 feet, 6 meters, tall and weighed 2,200 pounds, a metric ton, inhabited both North and South America. In Eurasia, there were giant rhinoceroses and a species of giant deer, Megaloceros giganteus, whose antlers measured over 1,112 feet, 3.5 meters, from tip to tip. Australia was home to giant marsupials, including Diprotodon, a hippopotamus-sized relative of the wombat and koala, and Procoptodon, the largest kangaroo to have ever lived. Both of these were prey to the marsupial lion Thylacolio. A combination of factors is likely to have contributed to the extinction of much of the prehistoric megafauna at the end of the last ice age. These included climate change, which caused many areas to dry out, and pressure imposed by the spread of modern humans, who hunted many of the species and also learned to use fire to clear vegetation and for cooking. Megalania was a heavily built, giant monitor lizard that resembled the Komodo dragon. It was so impressively large and powerful that it was able to eat any of the large Ice Age mammals of Australia, including the rhinoceros-sized wombats known as Diprotodonts and the giant kangaroos. Its great size may have been due partly to the fact that there were few large mammalian predators in Australia. Only the much smaller marsupial lion, Thylacolio, would have offered Megalania some competition. Megalania vanished about 40,000 years ago, at about the time that the first humans arrived in Australia, although there is no evidence that humans successfully hunted Megalania. It seems more likely that humans were the prey. A giant, flightless, ostrich-like animal, Epiornis, was heavily built, weighing 880 pounds, 400 kilograms, making it the heaviest bird that ever lived. It fed on a wide variety of fruits, nuts, and seeds. Epiornis coexisted with humans for thousands of years, but became extinct soon after Europeans arrived in Madagascar. The reason for its extinction is unclear, but remains revealed that humans butchered Epiornis, so overhunting may be blamed. Castoroids was a giant Ice Age beaver. Its remains are known from rocks of the late Pliocene and Pleistocene in North America. Fossils have been found primarily around the Great Lakes and in the Midwest, but they have also been dug up in Alaska, Canada, and Florida. Castoroids was the length of a modern bear and weighed up to 220 pounds, 100 kilograms. Its tremendous size was not the only difference with modern beavers. It did not have their simple, chisel-like front teeth or incisors. Instead, they were larger and broader, reaching to about 6 inches, 15 centimeters long. In addition, Castoroids' tail was longer and narrower than the broad, flat appendage of modern beavers, and its hind limbs were shorter. This giant bear had a huge body that was covered with long hair, and a relatively short skull with very powerful jaws that were capable of crushing its prey bones and all. Although the short-faced bear was very large, it had relatively long, slender limbs for a bear, and may have been a fast runner, ambushing its prey with a quick dash from cover, 
or covering long distances to wear down its prey. It could also have been a scavenger and thief, easily able to drive other hunters away from their kills. The short-faced bear vanished at the end of the last ice age, possibly due to competition from humans, although it was so large and fierce that humans probably did not try to hunt it down. In South America, Glyptodon was a giant relative of the armadillo that migrated to southern North America when the Panamanian land bridge appeared 3.5 million years ago. It was a well-protected animal, largely covered in skin-covered bones, known as osteoderms, which served as body armor. Even the tail was armored, being constructed of a series of tapering bony rings made of osteoderms. Although it is known as the Irish elk, Megaloceros was not restricted to Ireland but was found across northern Europe and Asia. Nor was it a true elk it is actually related to the fallow deer. It was one of the largest deer ever known, at least equal in stature to the modern moose. Its huge palmot antlers resembled those of the moose, but they were even larger. Megaloceros vanished at the end of the last ice age, possibly as a result of climate changes that destroyed its habitat. A giant ground sloth, Megatherium weighed in at 4.4 tons, 4 tons. It was about the size and weight of a bull elephant and was covered with long hair. It walked on the sides of its feet with its claws curled inward, and could prop itself up on its back legs and massive tail. Megatherium vanished at the end of the last ice age, when humans arrived in South America, although there is no direct evidence of human attacks. This ice age woolly rhinoceros was about the size of a large white rhino, and bore a thick coat of long, shaggy hair. It had a pair of horns that were oval in cross-section and curved backward, which it probably used to shift snow while foraging. The woolly rhino's cheek teeth had the characteristic pie-shaped pattern of crests found in all rhinos, but were also highly ornate, with many additional ridges that increased the grinding surface. Many lines of evidence show that woolly rhinos were mostly grazers, although they could probably eat almost any vegetation. The woolly rhino vanished about 10,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age, probably due to the retreat of its glacial habitat caused by climate changes. Having coexisted with humans for thousands of years, it is unlikely to have been hunted to extinction. This well-known saber-toothed tiger was a large cat, weighing about 880 pounds, 400 kilograms. Despite its name, it was not a member of the tiger subfamily Pantherini, but belonged to the Macarodontini. Smilodon was very muscular and heavily built compared to other big cats. In some ways its body plan was more like that of a bear than a cat, with powerful forelimbs used for wrestling prey to the ground. Smilodon would probably have slashed its victim's throat or belly before retreating to leave it to die of blood loss. Finds of multiple Smilodon fossils suggest that this cat, like modern-day lions, lived and hunted in large social groups. Like many other large mammals, Smilodon vanished at the end of the last ice age, possibly due to competition with humans. A highly successful and widespread genus of mammoths, mammoths lived across the northern continents and Africa throughout the entire Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs. Species of mammoths include the famous woolly mammoth, which lived along the edges of the Ice Age glaciers, the giant imperial mammoth of milder regions, and a number of dwarf species, which lived on islands such as the Channel Islands of California and Sardinia, Italy. Mammoth DNA, from many examples of freeze-dried and mummified specimens found in the Siberian permafrost, is almost identical to that of living elephants. Indeed, mammoths were much like modern elephants in appearance, except that their tusks were considerably longer and curved inward. One theory attributes their extinction to infectious disease. However, mammoths were hunted by humans all over the world and that, along with the effects of climate changes, probably contributed to their extinction. <laughs>